Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss out a video of ours and follow us on Twitter at WFTalk2020 for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. So it has been a busy couple of days around the world of football uh, since we have last updated. So there's been some transfer news. We've had the FIFA Pro uh, World 11 announced and the best uh, FIFA Best Player of the Year award announced and uh, we've also had some games so we'll start off with the transfer news so on Friday it was announced that Sophia Jakobsen had left uh, Bayern Munich after just a short stint in Germany she was there uh, from the summer until January and the club agreed to end her contract with the club at her request and then it was announced on Saturday that she will be joining a uh, new NWSL side San Diego Wave FC for the forthcoming season so she'll be joining the likes of Alex Morgan Abby Dahlkemper and Jodie Taylor as well as manager Casey Stoney in 2020 to NWSL season which gets underway in about March April time if I'm correct uh, then we've had two signings at Arsenal this past week first being uh, 23 year old defender Laura Van Reuter from Hoffenheim um, Arsenal players and fans will know her from the two games that she played against them in the Champions League obviously Hoffenheim were in Arsenal's group for this past uh, Champions League group stages so uh, very young defender and good move for the Gunners and then today uh, they announced the signing of Rafaela Souza uh, she had been linked with Arsenal now for the past couple of weeks and they've managed to get a deal over the line obviously I think Visa being the main hold up there but they've managed to get a deal there obviously that's a free transfer after she had left uh, her team over in the Chinese uh, Women's Super League so they have managed to get that done and dusted and then today um, West uh, Manchester City have announced the signing, well not a new signing but a contract extension of Esme Morgan, uh, the young defender who has been out recently with injury uh, has signed a contract extension with the club until 2025 West Ham United have made a signing, uh, they've signed Emily Moore on a short term contract uh, Moore joins the club after losing, they lost uh, goalkeeper Mackenzie Arnold to the uh, Asia Cup which is set to start in a few days time and then on Saturday the final transfer that uh, has been talked about or that is known as of now is that uh, Real Madrid have signed Sofia uh, Svava from Wolfsburg it's set to be a big sum fee that uh, Real Madrid have paid for Sofia and she's a very young highly talented player so it is a very good uh, move for her and for Real Madrid now to have a look at the team of the year from uh, FIFA that was announced on Monday evening some very very uh, questionable decisions that have been made so the team of the year goes like this in goal they've got uh, Christina Endler then in defence you have Lucy Bronze, Millie Bright, Wendy Renard and Magdalena Eriksson in midfield we have Estafi Bernani, Barbara Bonassia, Carly Lloyd and then up front we have Marta, Fifiana Miedema and Alex Morgan. Um, now bearing in mind this was a list of 11 players selected by players themselves in the game of football, not by any journalist or fans. So it's a very questionable 11 that no Barcelona players are in the team despite being uh, the treble winners and probably the best team in world football in 2021, both the men's and the women's game. So, that is a very controversial decision that no Barcelona players have been included in that team. Elsewhere, it was once again Alexia Patelis picking up the Best Player of the Year award, this time winning the FIFA's Best, which is absolutely no surprise to see uh, Alexia Patelis win that award for her phenomenal 2021, helping Barcelona to that treble, being the league, the cup and the Champions League. Uh, the Coach of the Year was won by Chelsea's Emma Hayes for helping Chelsea win a domestic treble and leading her side to the Champions League final and uh, goalkeeper of the year was won by Christina Endler of now PSG formerly of uh, Lyon and uh, Chile and then there was a special award uh, won by Christina Sinclair for her outstanding achievements and involvement in the game of football. Right. Uh, that is all the talking points uh, from the big stuff. We've obviously had games this past weekend. 
uh, not many games in terms of uh, football because a lot of teams are still on their winter break but we'll be coming back to them this weekend so the action from the WSL this past weekend saw Man United beat Birmingham City 5-0 Man City beat Aston Villa 3-0 Leicester get a big victory again against Brighton and Hove Albion winning 1-0 and then uh, the London derby that we had this past weekend between West Ham and Tottenham finished 1-1 with Kate Longhurst scoring a late goal for the Hammers so we have a proper fight going on at both ends of the table in the WSL and let's hope it can continue later on this week which we'll be previewing uh, on our Thursday or Friday of this week until then like I said at the start make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on personal notifications and are following us on Twitter for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football and until next time we'll see you soon